If you stumble into an enemy, as you almost did just now, they're likely to get the upper hand and attack you from behind. So the way you run into monsters makes a difference? That's right. Attacking an enemy from behind works out in your favor, but if they get behind you, they'll have the advantage. It's the same for both fighting and fleeing. Be aware of the enemy's direction and movements. Failing to do so can get you killed. Okay, I understand. And one more thing. I can't have you wandering in a daze like that again, so listen. It's not that I didn't appreciate your words of gratitude. I simply feel there's no need to give more thanks or apologies than the situation calls for. All right. We must express ourselves to convey our feelings to others. However, I feel emotions lose their strength once they're put into words. So I prefer to speak only what is absolutely necessary. That's all. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had to explain this much to anyone. What's that? Probably just a monster. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm gonna worry. Then you can wait here. What about you? There's a monster in there. Probably a strong one. Wait here until I take it out. But I... You'll just get in the way. Stay here. Okay. I'm just not cut out for this sort of thing. <laughs> Was that Marta? What should I do? If things get dangerous, will you save me again? I don't know anything about her. Just ignore it. Now, hand over that Ratatosk's core on your forehead. No. Then I'll just have to destroy it along with you. Stop! Stop it, please! Richter, what are you doing? I thought I told you to wait on the other side of the door. This is why you were looking for her? So you could kill her? That's right. Why? Because she is trying to awaken Ratatosk, the Demon Lord. Demon Lord? What are you talking about? I agree. It's quite a foolish name, but Demon Lord is the most appropriate term to describe what he is. If Ratatosk awakens, the world will be destroyed. No, you're wrong! Ratatosk is not a demon! He's the lord of all monsters! He won't destroy the world! I'm not interested in semantics. Ugh. 
What are you doing? Step aside. No. Move. I'm not a dog. That's why I'm going to make my own decisions. Emil. Thank you. I don't want to kill you. Move. I I don't really understand what you two are talking about, but you can't do things like this. If you just talk this over, I thought I told you not to get in my way. Aqua, show yourself. You called, Master Richter? Take care of the boy. Just don't overdo it. A talking monster? Who are you calling a monster, you human? I am a centurion. Centurion Aqua! Now then, my cute little minion, remove the boy from our presence! What was that? I won't be able to catch up with Richter with that thing in the way. You must forge a pact. Monster? I am not a beast. I too am a Centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Centurion Tenebrae? You could never defeat the monster on the other side of this door as you are now. Forge a pact to become a Knight of Ratatosk. Then you will be able to accept Lord Ratatosk's power in battle. What do you mean? There is no time to explain. Lady Marta is in danger. But, I mean, you're just a monster, a centurion. I mean, and I, I don't know if... That how? Were you the one calling me? Lady Marta was looking for you. You saved her life and she has chosen you to be a knight. Me? Now forge the pact. I'll make the pact. Understood. Emil, I command you, unleash the power within yourself. Awaken, hunter of evil! Let's go. What? You want to fight? You're going to regret this. The only one who's going to regret this is you. Now come on! Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. 
Ratatosk's power took hold of you. It felt like I became someone else. Yes, that was Lord Ratatosk's power. I'm not quite sure I understand. Anyway, what happened to Aqua? I didn't even touch her. Centurions themselves do not fight. They employ monster servants to battle in their place. If their monsters are defeated, the Centurion's power will also fade. Right now, she is only unconscious. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to hurt her. Come, we must go after Lady Marta. Did I learn something just now? It appears you've acquired a skill. A skill? Yes, a special technique for battle. Skills are acquired by meeting certain requirements. Everyone has their own set of skills they can learn. Once learned, you can set which skills to use from the skill screen on the menu. Select whatever skills you think will be the most useful. However, the number of skills you can equip at one time is limited. The total points of all selected skills cannot exceed a character's skill point limit. So think carefully when setting your skills. Do you understand? Yeah. Sort of. Do you really? I've got it, I think. This should be an interesting journey. must have sealed it off. Then, what should we do? I feel a draft. There must be another passage somewhere. Perhaps you should use the sorcerer's ring to examine the walls. What's that? There, on your finger. That ring was given to you by Lord Ratatosk as a symbol of your pact. But I'm a human. Only elves and half-elves can use magic. Don't worry. That ring can be used by humans as well. Really? I guess I'll try it out. You can. I have every confidence that you can save Lady Marta. <laughs> you must believe in your powers as a knight of Ratatosk. But I... Humans have a saying, seeing is believing. I, I don't think that exactly applies here. Anyway, thanks Tenebrae. I'll give it my best shot. So, Tenebrae? Somewhere along the way, I got all new clothes. I see you finally noticed. I've been wondering when you would bring it up. I noticed right away. It just never seemed like a good time to ask. Along with the Sorcerer's Ring, those clothes are a symbol of your pact with Lord Ratatosk. 
It's vital that a knight of Ratatosk present himself with a certain degree of elegance. Right. The outfit's fabric is prepared with a number of special incantations and hexes that make the garment waterproof, wrinkle-free, and mold-resistant. The design is meant to evoke Lord Ratatosk's fierce bravery and his subtle grace. The effect is mesmerizing. Wait a sec. One other question. Yes? What happened to the clothes I was wearing before? That is the darkness... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, forget I said anything. The darkness is what? <laughs> hey, come on! That floor is going to skin me alive if I lose those clothes. <laughs> Only the darkness knows.